to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. We're getting weird, James. Ooh, I know. It's getting weird. Keanu Reeves is dating somebody. Can we talk about that, please? Please. I thought. My boy. I thought. Don't say it. I thought. Don't say it. Don't say it. It was Helen Mirren. <laughs> I did. I, now, I took look. a breeze by on Twitter, and I was like, ah, why is, why is uh, Canal trending? And I saw the pic, and I was like, I'm telling you, dude, being a white lady in this life is rough. Real difficult. And Keanu Reeves is, I mean, a specimen. Yes, and I'll agree with that. He needs to be studied. I'll agree with that. I mean, it's not like he doesn't age. He is aging, but I just, he's just getting better. Uh, he's having a Keanu Sance. It's his moment. Yeah. Quintessence. Keanu. Yeah. I'm even going to do this year, uh, uh, Keanu Reeves. No, that is big. Not only anybody's ever done that. I've never I'm, seen it done. I'm trading in the wreath yeah. witherspoon because it's. We've done it. We've done it. Everyone's done it. It's yeah. a thing. Everyone's doing it. Keanu wreath. Keanu Reeves. I'm gonna have to have yeah, two, two. Two, obviously. Unfortunately, but yeah. um, gosh. And this, the thing is, this lady is like amazing, right? Artist does amazing things for the community. Yeah. She's like this really cool mm-hmm. lady. Mm. But what a f- horrible thing to be a white lady <laughs> in America <laughs> and be over forty. I mean, it's just fucking horrible. Oof. Um, and she used to die up, and she looks younger when she does. Yeah. She doesn't have, like, she doesn't look old. It's just the hair. That's um, it. And, and so, I, and we've they had this, are we've had this debate age. on this show for years. Yes. Now at this point. Of yes. Of when to call her up and when not to. It all depends on how young you look. Now, when I saw her, again, first glance, thought it was Helen Mirren. Also, wasn't mad at that, where I was just like, oh, well, I guess if anybody's going to bag fucking... Helen Mirren, it'd probably be Keanu Reeves just to do oh, it. Oh, I would have loved if it was Mirren. Yeah. Dame. She's, ma- she's married. Um, so when I breezed through and I was like, oh, this is a, an artist who just has gray hair. And then I, I looked at her even closer and I was like, man, it's weird. If she colored up, she looked like she was 35. Yeah. I mean, she'd look 40, which is younger than Keanu. Mm, Keanu is... 40, yeah. Well, no, he's, he's probably 50, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying like, you know... He is older than her, right? And you're just like, it doesn't look like that. And it's so shitty. I was just showing you. Looks like his grandmother took him out for lunch. I know. And it's like, we just think of Keanu as such a pimp. Yeah. And by we, I mean me all the time. Yes. But in reality, he is a very kind of weird, artistic, older guy, right? Ye- He's an older gentleman he is, that yeah. is very strange and creative and weird and yeah, you know I'm sure he's a difficult guy to handle. Probably right. I mean you put. I mean you'd have to be like, can you repeat that? I mean so quiet he talks. <sighs> I'm not easy to deal with, let alone Keanu. You know, Keanu in a different way. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't know what's better or worse. I don't either. I mean I'll just go out on a limb, maybe Keanu, but um. Sure. No, I'm joking. No, nah, probably uh, you're probably right. In this vein, I started looking. Uh, I saw Stella McCartney on a um, interview on Today mm-hmm. with Savannah. She is a really big fashion designer. So much made a name for her sa- herself so much that you wouldn't think that she was McCartney's daughter. You're yeah, like, yeah, oh, I, Stella McCartney. You're like, right, I, and I didn't know it's a big brand, yes. and you're just like, you don't. You're like, I guess she would have said or something. Way, way to go. Way, way to get out of your father's yeah. shadow that like you have to actually look that up where you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Are actually. they related? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I, uh, I challenge you to look at a picture of them next to each other. I thought it was an ex-wife of his and that they were with their small 
child. And uh, that is not the case. That is actually her. Yeah. And then she has the child. Your theory on, on white ladies aging is spot on. The lips go. The skin goes. What do you do? There's nothing. I mean, there is stuff you can do, but especially on white ladies, shows up mm-hmm. big time. Like J-Lo has had so much work done, but the right you work. can't tell yeah. because of her skin elasticity mm-hmm. because of her right Latin work. roots, yeah. right? When a white lady gets that same stuff done, I mean, you could just... I think white grapes... Yeah. Probably the same way. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Interesting age, theory. Age horribly. Right. Right? Right. And those dark, that's why I like a red wine. You yeah. Know? Yeah. No, I, I, look, I understand I it. I saw a uh, clip it's of In Living Color the other day that Jennifer Lopez was on. She was, that was 30 something years ago, right? She looked worse, yeah. Yes. She looked horrible. Ho- nowhere Gorgeous near. Now. Yeah. Like, and that's her 20s, you guys. I know. I mean, that's you're to be in the best the time prime, of her life. Right. Nowhere close to what she looks like now. That's what um It is insane. Like if you put insane. those two if you put those two women next to each other, you didn't know they were both Jennifer Lopez, you'd say there's no way that one is now the other and that the 50-year-old one is it's so hotter. much hotter than the 20-year-old one. And she one. famously uh I think it was like a month ago or something, she put back on that Versace that she wore uh-huh. with the green yep. plunging thing. Probably looked better. She looked better. And everyone was like, oh my God. Like, yeah. she looks better now than she did when she first wore it. God damn it. I know. I would, look, I want to com- commend myself on something here because uh, we've gotten a few listeners who've written in about this. And they said, you're always cool about when Jesse talks about other dudes and things like that. Here's why. Game- you talk about girls. Exactly. But game recognizes game. And so, like, this is a, that's a two way street right there. And, like, I know Keanu Reeves is better looking than me. I know Brad Pitt is. Um, I know all of that, right? But I'm, you've got to start being honest with yourself, people, at home, who you are and what you contribute in this life. And if you can't have your ladies talk about other dudes, I don't think that's healthy. I really I mean, don't. not other dudes that, like, we know. It's people that are, like... Still. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like, oh, that... There's still some... The guy down the street is... There's you know still, what I'm saying? There's still a lot of jealous people out there who are just like, don't. And I'm like, why, man? Oh, that, don't even say that's that. That's unhealthy. That's unhealthy to me where it's just like, hey, man, fucking A. Well, I've always said and I'm. And if, if Keanu stopped you in the street, New York, right? He was mm-hmm. like, look, I get a suite at the on Soho On his bike, Grand. maybe on his motorcycle. No, exactly. Let's just set the scene. So I'm walking. Hmm. Cute. I've got my new, you know, New York attire. I'm Quintessence New sure, York. Sure, sure, sure. He rolls up on his motorcycle. Some Felix Grey's on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got Felix Grey. I've got my H&M like, coat that you You're got me. You're probably doing some work in a coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got laptop, mm-hmm. but with like a cute laptop cover. I'm walking out. Oh, so busy. These glasses maybe I even have on. Yeah. So busy, so working. So like in the New York mood. And he pulls up, right, parks right there, pulls the helmet off, yeah. right? Messy hair. Messy hair. Hair you used to have it. Tussle. Oh yeah. I you used exactly to have it. It would like. be Swayze. I mean, he has Swayze hair right now. Yeah. It's a darker color, but it's Swayze. No, obviously. Um, what would I do? Clam up, walk away. Huh. And that's just me, you know? Yeah. He would have to look right at me, say, Hey you, come over here. Right? Wouldn't happen. Well, if it did, and he said, look, I'd like to squire you to dinner inside the hotel. Right. And you text me, and you're like, hey, it's Keanu. He wants to go to, he wants to take me to dinner. <laughs> go ahead. I, I get it. It's Keanu. You know? Right. I'm not going to do, th- I'm not going to be the same <laughs> way with you. Because to me, I feel like you're being cool so that you can go. And then I'm walking down the other side of the street Not and Margot Robbie rolls up Not at all. and asks to squire me to dinner and you call up to me. I'm in the, ho- I'm in the room. I'm getting ready for you and I's dinner, right? Sure. You popped out just to grab me something and you call back up and say, I'm actually going to go to dinner with Margot Robbie. Right, right. <laughs> I'm like, hair, I'm still doing my hair. I'm like, what? You're going to what? It's Margot Robbie. You I mean, you get it, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. I didn't say that. Don't get it. I didn't say that. But Keanu, I I would understand. 
We're like, well, we're right. I think we're realistic. I was talking to a friend of mine the other night about the craziness of marriage. The crazy idea of it. To be married forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's and a it it's is a, it's a lot. A lot going on. It's a lot. And you th- you know, you have to be able to say stuff like that. What if you couldn't? What if I wasn't allowed to be like, Keanu Reeves is an attractive guy. Here's the thing. I like, know that people in relationships, crazy. but I know people in relationships like that. But that doesn't last. Like there's no I know. way. Like I we're not talking it. about real things that you're going to act on, but you know, you have to be able to. That's I what I think. Know, maybe. And when I, when I got those messages, I was like, yeah, but that's what the, you kind of have to do that. Like, because otherwise, if you want to live your fucking life like that, like being jealous of every, lo- like, come on, it's a lot. Of every thought that you have. Stupid. It's like, it's different. Again, if they're pr- somebody that's right in front of you, you're having any kind of interaction with, it's different. But at the same time, you know, that shit's going to happen all the time. It is. I mean, we're surrounded by the opposite sex, both of us. Yeah, all, all the time. All, all the, the time. time. Um, I, uh, speaking of, of the, the Quintessence and the Renaissance. Uh, uh, you know, Quintessence? Yeah, and you know who started that, obviously. Started what? The Renaissance stuff. Um, it was McConaughey, the McConaissance. Oh, that's right. But so that, he that's what wasn't that exactly having phrase. He was having a. Uh, when was that? During was it like uh, Dallas? Dallas Fire Buyers Club. Clubs? He yeah. won the Oscar. He yeah. won. You he was know, having he was a in moment. Oh yeah. Wolf of Wall he Street. He was everywhere. He was. I mean, it, the, he was just murdering it. You're right? right. You're right. You're right. But the thing is, like, Ke- Keanu isn't doing stuff. People are just finding him again. And you know, I have always <laughs> been into him, right? Yeah, and I'm 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 pulling something up on my phone here. So keep talking. Okay, I, I is wanna, it about? It's about McConaughey. And I'm it's gonna, about McConaughey. Oh, his Instagram. Yes. M- you guys, do yourself a favor. I'm gonna read it off. Pop on to over the there. Audience. He has two videos. No, he's got one. He's got one post. Oh, and he had a story too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He so had a story and a video. It, here's the beauty of this. I'm just gonna read this to you, okay? Please. Because I watched the video. Because he made like a welcome to Instagram video on Instagram. And it was Instagram. like a panorama. Someone else was doing it. Yeah. Great. It's, it's on Instagram. It's also on Twitter. And uh, he's inviting people mm. to his Instagram. To and it's hilarious. Dialogue, because it's a dialogue. To have a uh, dialogue. God. It's classic McConaughey where he goes, you know, I'm, I'm nervous about this. Uh, because <sighs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm great at, at, at having the monologue. But I'm worried about having the dialogue. Laughs. I mean, he's sitting in this like awesome chair. He's quintessence. I loved it. And I was so confused by it a little bit. Well, he also Jennifer Aniston did it. Two killed weeks ago. Aniston, though, as far as like. No, she, she set the all time record. It was like three million or yeah, something like no, that. No, she's at nine. He's at 1.2 right now. But on first day, he was, she was three. First day. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, she's smashed everyone. But I, I just want to read this to you right off of his Instagram. Please. Because I'm always, the, the, the descriptions always I went through it and I'm following him. So go ahead. Same. Um, but this is to anybody else. Yeah, who yeah. Is, I'm just going to read this. Husband. Father. Actor. Minister of culture. Yes. Love. I don't know who else could get away with naming themselves the minister of culture. But I fucking love it, and love I it. wish I could have done that. Love it. Not famous enough to do shit like that. Because otherwise, let's face it, you're not McConaughey, you're just an asshole for saying that. But it's the greatest thing of all time. Next one, you ready? Yeah. Professor. He, he is. is my He's a professor God. at UT. He did it for fall quarter, just so he could watch so all the football good. games. I would do it for Ohio State in one second. Sure. And, uh, uh, yes. Um, creative director. Don't know of what. But I like that that's there. Of his life, probably. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Austin FC. I don't know what FC. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the FC stands for. Austin. Father's Club? I don't know. (laughs) Probably not. I don't know. Uh, Uh, JK Living. Just keep living. Now, that's obviously his production company. Okay, okay. Um, And then the last one. You ready for this? Please. I forget it. Pickle expert. Oh, I remember <laughs> that. Like, oh, just a little bit of comedy at the end. Oh. So, you guys, he's like I said, he's done two videos. They're both um, like someone else is filming them. He's talking and he kind of like uh, he directed them in this cinematic way for yeah. both his story and his video. 
I don't know if he can sustain any kind of real interaction. Maybe. He doesn't seem like the type of person. Get off your phone. Doesn't no, seem I, like I, the type of person that will ha- that can have. Um, so that doesn't want to have just like one on one, you know, like I think he'll be like, dude, I'm on this too much. Like I can't. Yes. I and hope in my mind. Same. So I but here's the other thing that I like to do when celebrities first join Twitter. Um, this Twitter. Is, and this is why I'm looking at my phone still. So okay. I apologize for the audience or if you're watching on YouTube. But there's there is a point to this. I always like to find out who they're following first. Right. Because that's kind of their group of friends or there's a publicist to it. I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to breeze through this list for you. Yeah. It's really fucking funny. Um, super random. Kevin Hart. <clears throat> They've never done a movie together, so I, I don't really know what that is. Now, The Rock, I get because everybody follows The Rock. And I feel like that's the first thing that Instagram makes you do is follow The Rock. Like once yeah. you join Instagram. The Rock Clock. Jennifer Garner. Now, that one I get because they did a movie together. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Vanessa Hudgens. Baby V. It's a weird one for me. A weird one. Yeah, Rose McGowan. Not sure. Have fun. Um, Pharrell. <laughs> we got any friends with Pharrell? It like makes sense though. Like picture. <laughs> here's the thing. Picture this dinner party. <laughs> I know. It makes know. sense in like weird ways. I'm sure he's like bringing everybody together in this weird way. Yeah. Uh, Ellen. Fine. Sure. Shaq. All right. He's a sports guy. Great. Jimmy Fallon makes us make that, yes. that makes sense. Uh, Jessica Chastain, that makes sense. Zach Efron. Can't figure that one out. Uh, Lance Armstrong, I know him and Lance are bros. That makes sense. They've been friends for I know, but it's my one fifty years. I know you hate Lance Armstrong. Thing about him. Fieri, tell me that he's following Fieri. Ah, They're besties. So that's what I was looking for, yeah. right? Uh, Nick Jonas. Uh, Austin FC is uh, looks like it's a football team or a uh, soccer team. So there okay. we go. Maybe he owns a part of it. Uh, Kate Hudson, totally makes sense. Obvi, they banged. Uh, Isla Fisher, Reese Witherspoon, Woody Harrelson, of course that makes sense. Obvi. Texas players, and then Snoop Dogg. Eh, Again, I see weed it. Together. Now here's one, this is a callback from many, many episodes ago. If you're a true RPR listener, you will understand this and you will know this, but it is weird to me that he's following her. It's Helena Christensen. I told you the story of when she shoved me out of the way to get to him. Who's she? What's she from? Uh, she's the supermodel. She was in that uh, Chris Isaacs video. No. Uh, oldie but a goodie, love. right? What's she's that? an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, but. She's an oldie. I was there for that thirst. Sure. And like. Dehydrated. Yeah. She was after McConaughey that night. She probably got him, right? At that point, yeah. He was single. Had to have. I, I would imagine. I didn't see him the rest of the night, but. Uh, Kirk Douglas. Or I'm sorry, Michael Kirk Douglas. Michael Douglas. I didn't know Michael Douglas had an Instagram. Weird. Is that the kid? No. No, that's, that's the man. That's the man. That's the dad. <laughs> that's the man. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the dad. They're both Is men. That the kid? No, it's the man. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, both yeah, men. They're both, they're both men. Um, the rest of these make sense. Wild Turkey, Lincoln. Uh, Again, is Fieri on Justin there? Justin Bieber. No. No, he's not. What happened? Does Fury have a Instagram, though, is the question. Oh, yeah, and it's fucking amazing. Is it really? Yeah. I'm going to start following He, him. like, has this great sense of humor about himself, and he'll repost memes that people make of him, like putting <clears throat> his face places. Okay. He'll repost it and be like, this is awesome, right? Mm-hmm. Um, And it's just him being fucking awesome, like, at great. parties or it's what great. he's cooking. And it's mostly what people post to make fun of him. And I love that he just like takes control of it and is like, yep, I'm ridiculous. Yeah. And you love it. And yeah. And I'm laughing all the way to the fucking bank. Anyone Fieri. that wants to make fun of him. Fieri. Fieri, but um, that's weird because they're besties. So I'm wondering, were you looking Twitter or Instagram? Just Instagram because he, he just had done, he just had uh, signed up to Instagram. I started following him. Um, Seems like Fieri, Fieri, sorry. Minister of Culture, my God, man. be the first follow. Jealous, I'm jealous of that. We could think of something else for you. Minister of Culture. It's just so great. Purveyor of taste. Again, yeah, you've gotta be famous enough to get away with that shit to start calling yourself that. Um, uh, And you have to set the stage very, very, very early on. Like, you're welcome for my brilliance. I've said that for fucking 
80 years at this point. So like right. people say that to me all the time. Mm -hmm. And like, but I did that. Uh, but I've also gotten like, I don't know who you are, you arrogant prick for writing that. And it's just like, well, if you didn't know me for 20 years, like. You're lost. Right. Um, but with McConaughey, you know it. You're like, yeah, it's McConaughey. Yeah. The Minister of Culture. <sighs> God damn right. God damn right. He's living his life right. Texas is having a rough year though. They're well, uh, football wise. They're not ranked. And uh, whew, but he's having McConaughey the, picked the wrong quarter to go back. He's having the best time of his life of his life. His life. And if if the, if the, if our kids were older. Right. And they they asked, hey, man, do you want to come back and teach at Ohio State for fall quarter? You betcha. And yeah. you would love it. Oh, I'd get a little condo in the short north you'd and love fucking it. call it a DZ. Yeah, you'd love it. Um, <laughs> I'd join a bike club. And I, I bet you his juices. wife loves it. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you his wife loves it, man. Uh, does she? I don't know. I don't know what her deal is. I would is. think so. Mm. I would think so. I um, want to address something real quick here since we've gotten a ton of messages. I have personally about this um, in the last 24 hours. Uh, we had Milo at Napolis on for... Um, Drinking Bros, 500, and they were, uh, all of the questions were surprisingly, hey man, what's that guy's fucking deal? What's he like in real life? Because he is super fascinating on the show, and that was a great interview, and all that That's stuff. That's how he is, right? He's a great guy off camera, so I, I really want to address that and say, whatever hot water he'd gotten himself into and all that other shit, which I didn't think was that bad, to be honest with you. Um, I just think it was at that time that it was going on, everybody was way sensitive about everything not that they're not now but it's, it's at least tamped down a little bit it um off camera that guy is sure. lovely to hang out with and uh we actually some of these celebrities are in and out you know you mm -hmm. get an interview and you don't want to take up time and blah 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 right or sometimes it's my fault where i've stacked a bunch of interviews for that day and, it's and like you gotta i have them. to be on a schedule and i feel like a dick and right. uh whatever right that I, I can tell you that guy was extremely cool and uh, I enjoyed him as a person um, off camera and on like if he lived in my city, we would be bros. Right. Uh, for real. Um, and uh, it was a fantastic interview. We had a great time and uh, I appreciate all the messages about the, the love for that episode uh, because I've always liked him. He's done Rogan a couple of times and the first time was a long time ago. Yes. And I've just. I don't know. I always liked him. Not even if you agree with him. I just, the way that he argues is very calculated and super smart. Whether he's right or not, he knows all the He is a ways to. Lightning fast smart guy. Yes. And, and the changing of subjects, if it's not working or whatever. He, he's a, a pro and he was really good. I would have, I wanted to hang out with him, but I got there. I think two days later. Yeah, you were disappointed in that. Uh, he lives. Yeah, he he I mean, lives up to the I've hype. I've always in liked real life. him. Yeah. Um, there's not. Look, a lot of these people so don't. So Dan and him, they end up hooking up, or I know. Um, Gosh. But we all get along uh, across the board, and and yeah, man. Uh, there, there's certain people um, there, and there's other people that I haven't liked. Um, to be honest with you, out of a thousand, we're because we're close to a thousand shows total here between this one and that one. There is some people that I did not like where it was just like, I'm not going to say who they were. Uh, there was one I passed in the interview. And I was just, I didn't like the person before I met him on camera. And I was just like, I'm good. I'm good on this. Mm -hmm. um, but he's not one of them. So yeah. if you uh, were a fan, are a fan of his, uh, rest easy. Good dude. And you find him where? Telegram? Is that you said? Yes, Telegram. Which is crazy. That's what happens when you get banned. I know, man. Got to find me on Telegram. So. So uh, crazy to think about that, that like if someone was like, where do I find you? Like we're able to be like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Yeah. YouTube. He literally can only say Telegram. Yes. Because he's and that like incendiary. I wanted is, to ask you about it because I, I was looking for it. What is it? I don't know. I don't have it. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure it's an app or it's some kind of. Well, here's the thing. Because a bunch of people were, when we did this, we did a live show last night. And it was the most comments that we've ever gotten live on a show. Um, at one time, man. I mean, it was, it was so much. It was endless. YouTube has this new function. If you are watching some of our shows that are live on YouTube, 
that you can click on and see the comments scroll on the left-hand side of the screen as the show is going so you can see it, regardless if you're just sitting in front of your, of your television. Those are the most comments we've ever had on a show consistently over and over and over again throughout the two hours. And when he said Telegram, a bunch of people in the, in the comments section have been like, oh, Telegram's dope, man. It's going to be fucking awesome. Look, I'm all, you know, know me, is. like I'm all for a new platform. Yeah. Like I'm all for, like Instagram I like, but it's still Facebook essentially. Mm -hmm. I'm all for us using something else besides Facebook or like if this is something that Milo can be on, then maybe it is the right move. You know what maybe, I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm looking right now and it's just like, you know. If it's that hard to find though. Uh -uh. It's not that it's hard to find. It's hard to understand. It just looks like Messenger to me. So, hmm. yeah. So you message him? I guess so. Um, but, but then it, I mean, it, it kind of has an interface like text messages or, you know, kind of has an, an interface like, uh, let's see. It says, why, sw so why switch to Telegram? Private. Telegram messages are heavily encrypted and can self-destruct. It, it just seems like a messaging service right now. Which I wish, I wish, and then we talked about this in the last show, it's just somebody would come up with something new. I know why they can't, because um, we got some messages about that, and they were like, well, you know, the reason why you can't create a new YouTube is you need space, because you run out of storage, mm -hmm. and you've got to have We learned endless, that from Silicon Valley. Right, endless <laughs> rooms of servers and, and all of that <laughs> stuff. And like, look, YouTube was bankrupt for, well, not bankrupt, but they, uh, they were in debt heavily for years and years and years and years because of this until Google ended up buying them and, and all of that shit because they were at a room and storage and, and all of that stuff and it that's what sucks I guess is uh, when you have to get bought up by an outside firm congratulations now you control it and they can do whatever they want and you know when YouTube started it was put everything up there and who gives a shit right yeah uh, didn't matter if you stole anything or not uh, a lot of people were pissed off that they took down our last episode because of the, it was from a Dr. Phil clip. It wasn't anything we had said content-wise. So I would, t I would tell that. you first and foremost. We fixed that. And yeah, we fixed it and it got back. it back yeah, out. Yeah, but yeah. like that's bullshit that I can't use a fucking Dr. Phil clip. And I'll tell you why. It's a promo video to promote yeah, that Dr. You can Phil see anywhere. and his show. I wish somebody would steal part of this. Look, Dr. Phil doesn't mind, by the way. He would love for it to be on the show. Correct. And it's uh, So it's not Dr. Phil either. So you don't have to go after Dr. Phil. There is an option here where on our YouTube page where it says, will you allow second party places to share this? Um, yes. Yes, we always agree to that um, because we don't care. You can post this wherever you want. And I do the same with movies, man. A bunch of people message me too over the years. Hey, man, can I screen your movie at a bar or a restaurant or a fucking house or my local independent theater? Yes, you can always do that. I don't care. Right. I will not ask you for any money. Matter of fact, I hope you make money off of it. And Please. If you want to charge, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Please. Know that I will never, ever care. I am grateful that people yeah, but watch that's not my movies and do anything. I know it's not most people, but it's me. So you don't even have to message me. I don't care. You can just fucking take a picture of whatever party you're at or throwing with one of my films and just say, hey, man, we watched this with 60, 80 people, whatever it is. And I'm more than likely, I will post it on my Instagram and say, cheers, I appreciate it. Um, I don't care. I know Dr. Phil doesn't care, so don't go after Dr. Phil for this. Um, Again, he's, he's hitting the podcast circuit, yeah. so he would be happy. He, because you were the one that told me he's got a podcast. He so, has two podcasts, yeah. and he is so promoting we're all, we're, his podcast on his show, which is like brill, brills. We're all good on that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so yeah, th that's why it's back up. No worries. Move on with our lives. If, if somebody pulls down an episode, I will be the first to tell you, hey, man, here's what happened and why and fuck these people. But mm -hmm. uh, that was clearly the studio and their stupid shit. And uh, yeah, man, it just sucks. That's not what it was meant for. Um, you know, yes, were there people making money off of piracy and shit? I guess. But I don't know if YouTube was monetized at that point. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I, it's weird, and it pisses me off. They pulled down my Darnell Dawkins clip on, uh, on I YouTube. I remember that. And it was, you know, over 800,000 that started that movie. I can't show anybody because there was, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds of a Jimi Hendrix 
riff in there, not even like words of Hendrix, but like a riff. And Sony, BMG, fucking taking it down. Said, no, we can't have this. And they were selling music off of it. It was like, hey, you could buy the song at the bottom of the fucking thing. The Hendrix family sucks regarding that, by the way. Uh, I'll be super honest with you because I dealt with them on that movie and I was going to try to license some shit from them. They wanted an astronomical amount of money. And the sister, what's her name? I think it's Janie. Uh, I forget the sister. Whatever. His stepsister owns the fucking rights to it. Who Jimi Hendrix met once backstage at a concert mm-hmm. when she was eight years old. Um, she had lured all the rights away from the father who was a drug addict. Um, and uh, all of every single cent of Jimi Hendrix's money goes to her, no one else, and it sucks. So, if you ever thinking about Hendrix? Yeah, no, that's where that money's going to and why. But, uh, yeah, they pulled down that clip. I, I'm guessing it was her on that one. Uh, because the music, the, for a while, once YouTube went through their bullshit, um, they put up a post uh, that just said, hey, man, we will let you keep the music if you just leave the song at the bottom where people could buy it on iTunes or whatever. And I was like, yeah, man, I don't give a shit. One hand washes the other. And I know Instagram does that now where it's like if you want to use any song for your stories, you can just scroll through the library and it just says, hey, man, here's the artist and you can buy the song if you want. Uh, you also, they're, they're paying people. Um, so if you're an artist out there and you license your music to TuneCore or DistroKid, those are the two biggest as far as like independent music sites go. They monetize it for you, so if it shows up in a video, you get paid for it. Plain and simple. I don't know why they had to rip that off of YouTube, because um, they were getting paid for it. <laughs> and I said, oh, like Jimmy, Jimmy's my, my stepbrother, I met him when I was eight. And now he can the money. I went to school with a Hendrix. Did you? One of the girls. Really? Granddaughter, must have been granddaughter, right? Yes. Age-wise? Yeah, it had to have been. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're kind of like they all look like they're related to the Hendrick to him. Oh, really? It's kind of like Bonet's kids. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. Bonet's kid. That's uh, sort of how it was. A uh, Bonet's kid. You know, when you go to school and live in California, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to school with Mary Steenburgen's kid. Really? Mm-hmm. And Hendrick's granddaughter. Uh, did she have that kid with Ted Danson? No. Okay. It was with Malcolm McDowell. Really? Because mm-hmm. they've been, married, also they've been married for like 30 years, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, it was, again, we were little yeah. when we were hanging out. Tiny, uh, Charlie, nothing people. Yeah. yeah. Tiny little insignificant little. Um, nothing children. Yeah. Booger eaters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like we got in trouble for drawing on the wall. Like that's how little we were. Mm. And I remember my mom saying that Steenburgen wasn't nice to her. Like she kind of just like took me and like was really? like, see ya. Yeah. When yeah, I maybe was like, shit to do. Yeah, maybe I mean, shit to do. So I can't imagine doing that to someone now, but hey, your kid's here. Okay, cool. Bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't even see inside. You can't even see where they're going to play or anything. Those were the days. I mean, it was a manchon in Upper Ojai, but. All right. That's look at me like. now. Look, look at me now, Ma. How the- <laughs> Top of the world. <laughs> Top of the world, Ma. This is my chapstick. Top of the world. How the mighty have fallen. Yep. <laughs> I did used to hang out at Steenburgen's mansion. Yeah. Look at me now. Look at you now, kid. In a fucking old uncle's basement. Uh, right here? Yeah, what is this fucking bullshit? <laughs> I used to be fucking... Top of the world, okay? I was living in a castle. I was living in a castle. I was hanging out with Malcolm McDowell. Me yeah. and him were buds. Bros. Bros. Hendrix kids. Now, it was a party every night. You're a loser. Googie. Googie. <laughs> Those were the days, man. Found sign, find Googie. We did find Googie. We found Googie. Uh, you know they didn't find is uh, breaking news. Aaron Hernandez's uh, male lover in prison, which I took a lot of shit for that episode. When I said Aaron Hernandez was gay, I got the info. No, it's a known thing. Now it is. Not when we did that show. Mm. And uh, people were, I get a lot of fucking hatred. You can go look, breeze through the YouTube comments on there. Were they Patriots fans? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, and this, so this is a, his cellmate and boyfriend, Kyle Kennedy, has a new book out. Um, and he he claims that there was a he murdered four people, so it was but, an extra person. 
that he murdered. And this is the guy from jail or the high school boyfriend? Jail. Okay. Jail. Um, and his latest book is called Aaron Hernandez's Killing Fields. So, huh. Fun. Yeah. So fun. <laughs> um, I haven't instead found. I don't know. I don't believe it, but. They're naming who the, who the guy was. They're saying, they said Jordan Miller is the guy's name who was gunned down in a still unsolved case in his hometown. And he told his bo- boyfriend that all this? Apparently. It's in a book. It just popped up. Loose lips, dude. Yeah. Loose lips. Once he gets, once he gets in, a, in, a rela- in a ship, in a relationship. So. He just spills it all, huh? People he's murdered and shit. I wouldn't. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. You know, I'm not going to read this book, obviously, but. No. I wonder if he goes into graphic sexual detail. Probably not. Yeah. Probably so, I bet. <laughs> if you're selling in a book, your you dreams, have some bro. nuggets. You in have your some dreams. Nuggets in your dreams. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Four oh, bodies for Hernandez, what you're though. Just saying. Yeah. Four bodies for Hernandez. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot, man. Yeah. He had a rough go of it. Yeah, he did. He really did. There was a good podcast about it. Oh, about Hernandez? Yeah, they went Did in they go in? Did they deep dive into the gate? Yeah, thing? they talked to the high school boyfriend. They uh, yeah. I called talked it. to all the relatives. Like, it's a, it's a good one. I'll have to find what it was while you talk about a go bed. Yeah. Or to go bed. I, we, get, we get to rapping. Oh, gosh. I just when we get on something, forget. when we get back on our bullshit, it's just like. It's just blah, blah, blah. It's just a blah, blah, blah. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is where you can get the mattress of your dreams. Um, I bet you, I bet you uh, Hernandez was laid up in a ghost bed with his gay lover. Doing stuff. Gosh. How long has Ghostbed been out? Don't know. Uh, I, think, uh, I think Hernandez was still alive during Ghostbed's. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I don't know when he was able to lay. When he was able to lay with a man. Yeah. That was Did a long not, time ago. Maybe, can you order a Ghostbed to jail? Find out. <laughs> the box shows up. Could you imagine? A Ghostbed box shows up to your, your cell. And it's like, well. Hey guys, my mattress is here. I'm gonna just go ahead and unwind this. I mean, if you're in for life, can you not do it in comfort? I guess. Uh, they Great make question. it as comfortable as they can without overstepping and making it too comfortable to where people are like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If a ghost bed rolled in there and there was any kind of people knew about it. Yeah. You Man. know what I mean. Uh, either way, sleep so good it's scary. And if you're frightened of Aaron Hernandez, you'll be frightened by their deals on their website. They're really giving some amazingly scary deals away. That 36-month page you go no interest thing is, is sickening. 38 bucks a month for a fucking goddamn mattress of your dreams, dude. Amazing. If you're military or a first responder, you get 15% off everything in the store forever. Regular sieves like ourselves, the fucking deals are amazing. Halloween deal's still up. I uh, wonder if it'll be by the time this airs. Not sure. I'm not sure. Check, but. Check it before they you would, wreck it. They're the kind of company that would keep it going a little bit after. I think so, right? <laughs> um, so, uh, get it, man. Best in the biz. Love ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Shabloinks. Shabloinks. Um, Strike Force Energy has got everything you need to be a real man in this life. You're going with us this weekend. I am. You're going with us to uh, to the game. Yep. Watch me party. Yeah. Watch you party. Watch, watch you me party. party. Watch me party. 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 party, party. party no, party, I'll party. be. Uh, I'll be working the uh, equipment. The ones and twos. So come say hi. You'll be working the ones and twos. I'll be working the ones and twos and threes. How many cameras? Uh, ones and twos. Two. Probably two. Probably two. Two cameras. Four mics. Maybe one on slider. Ooh. What do you think? What do you think? Jobs. Look, we can talk all about this after. 
I don't think we can. I think oh, now the is people the need to time. know. The people need to be on the meeting. How many cameras? The people need to be with? in the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um, look, no carbs, no sugars. Last longer than five hour energy. Keep you up. Tastes amazing. Amazing. Grape lemon original. A lot of people are using this for dieting. Uh, also partying. Look, we're going to another uh, college football extravaganza. Uh, they're sending us to the Clemson game on Saturday, which is good because it's only an hour and a half from us. However, it is not the game of the year uh, because that is too early. Yeah. Really fucked everybody on that game time. Um, but uh, we will be there. Bring your strike force because we'll be drinking all day. What, it, we're at uh, Instill, I believe. Um, Instill Distillery. Yeah, and we'll send out, we'll do a post or whatever. I did. You know what? I put it up on Facebook and I put it in the Drinking Bros group. Uh, I will. I will share it everywhere else. Did as you well. let people know I was gonna be there? Oh, or? Yeah. So I talked to the owner, and um, I will shout out his name. His name is Eric. Um, Eric Tanzi is his name, and uh, he's like, James is coming. I was like, Yeah, dude. Okay, because I'm just saying, if James you want more, there. if you kind of want like a better turnout, I would definitely let people know. I will. I will. That I'm gonna be there. Yeah, I will. Um, so you are. Otherwise, you could have just a couple of a couple of your guys' fans. Yeah, there. a couple of ding dongs. Like three dudes in the in the audience. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, dude. Bring your strike force is what we're saying. We'll drink it with you. We'll drink it off you. Well, well, maybe. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll put it. Excuse me. Um, put it in your beers, drinks, everything, and you're good to go. That'll keep you going. The rest of the night, kids. Do it. Last but not least. Oh, shit. Strikeforceenergy.com. Revolution. 20% off. I get, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just so, so hopped up today. Oh, yes. Last but not least is what you came for. Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're there it is, James. Blammo, 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 blammo. Pull the chain Jamie, can you let, on the um, chainsaw. Guest in. We got a guest here, Jamie, for the next show. A letter on in. Um, she can sit in that couch, by the way. Or wherever she wants to. Yeah, the couch is, is, is good to go. Um, we get a, we get a, speaking of that, we got a brand new studio here. Uh, 4,000 square feet. Really doing it. Yeah. Really doing it. Got couches for people. We got everything here. Dude, we have a bar. Yeah. We have a kitchen. It's fucking rad, dude. So that's w- when we're saying, hey, let the guests in. I'm like, hey, are you guys fancy now? Our studio is very fancy now. Yeah, and it's got a security, so don't even try and fucking come for us. I know. Um, it's got one of those fancy securities with a phone. You got to slide the phone across. Slide it. the phone across. You have to like push the button. Yeah. There's a, it's, it's a whole howdy-do. You know? Yeah. Uh, same as straightrazors.com. That's a whole howdy-do as well. Sure. They're, they're doing it. Right and doing it all night. Shaving Ukrainian bushes for years. Dwarf Ukrainian bushes they've been shaving for years over there. We I confirmed. To watch. Oh, that's I, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. tomorrow. So we're not. You're fine. We're fine. Yes. I don't want to like. Relax. Not be able to report on it for the people. Whew. This Jabes. crazy little person. Anyways, I checked with the president of straightrazors.com. Mm-hmm. And he said, yeah. Oh, he confirmed? That it is safe to a straight razor is great to use on a Ukrainian dwarf's bush. Okay. So, got that going for it's us. It's like we knew it, but right. we just needed to hear. Which is really nice. Yeah. Which is really nice. Um, so, thank you, Luke Webster. And I'll, I'll pass along the info. Um, so, if you're a little person out there looking for a great straight razor set, apparently it's the number one in the world. Yeah. Uh, mustache waxes, beard oils, conditioners. If you're worried about using a straight razor, you can use a safety razor. And be a pussy about your life. Uh, also, for Christmas, you can get them engraved uh, for your loved ones. And they'll put whatever you want on there. It's not like buying an NFL jersey where you want to write ass eating season on the back. And they're like, no, we don't let you do that. Uh, they let you engrave whatever you want. Mine said badass motherfucker on it. That's so cool. Yes. So go to straightrazors.com today. Get yourself a kit. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off, man. Gladiator. Aaron Hernandez uh, podcast, really good. Okay, that's the name of it. That's a deep dive. They talk, like I said, they talk to everyone. Okay, his siblings, his boyfriend, 
accusers, families. Wow. They got everybody kind. on that. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, are, they, yeah. are, they paying, are they paying them or not? What do you mean? Uh, like, are they, are they paying these families now for podcasts? How do you get that much access without paying them is the, is the question. Mm. You just, if you're a reporter, you're doing a thing. Like, they can either, what they usually say is, hey, this is what we're going to talk about. Do you want to have input or do you want me to tell your story? Okay. And most of the time, people will be like, no, I don't want someone else talking about it. Mm-hmm. Um, usually. And with this kind of thing, it's like, if he was still on trial, I don't think people would talk, right? Right. But it's sort of on the other side and his family, because of his, you know, hard life, mm-hmm. they had some stuff to say. And I think they wanted people to know the other side of him. Okay. So again, with these other podcasts, it's like, with the daily, for example, they call people. Yeah. And they say, this is what we're putting out. Do you want to say something about it? Or mm. do you want us to just write whatever we want to write? And nine times out of 10, they're like, no. <laughs> I want it to be my story, you know? Okay. Uh, I just, me personally, in that world now, it's getting skewed and they're offering a lot of money for shit. So I wonder. Offering I just don't see Aaron Hernandez's him. relatives doing that shit for free. I'll put it to you that way. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, I want to talk about uh, this James Dean thing. This has been trending all day. Big fucking story. Uh, celebrities are now selling the rights, their digital life rights. Do you know this? For to, millions of dollars. For like holograms? For anything. Because okay. after you die, they're essentially just drawing, like the Will Smith did this for the last movie where he was younger. They're oh, yeah, yeah, drawing yeah. Drawing lines in your face, and they can make you young, and it's somebody else talking. But let's face it, they have your voice now. A's got your voice, so they can insert that. I think it's you. It is you. Right. But you can They're now do... They're just putting an Instagram filter on you. Other things. Um, here's the thing. So James Dean is going to be digitally reanimated in CGI for a Vietnam War movie. Okay. Isn't that weird? I guess. He's going to be in a movie, and he's been dead for 75 years. Died in 1955. But he's not going to be in a movie. He is going to be in the movie. Well, they're going to CGI and like... All I've, uh, look, I'll, I'll read it to you. Uh, this is Hollywood Reporter, so this isn't like 8shit.com. And I know you love 8shit. 8shit has never done me wrong. Right. Um, Hollywood Reporter is, is pretty reputable. Uh, they've obtained the rights to use Dean's image from his family and have their support in keeping his legacy intact. And uh, God damn it, that's creepy, man. There, there's, there's a whole team of CGI that's, that's tasked with creating Dean's likeness on screen. And he's going to be in this fucking movie. But he's not. Um, yeah, but he... But he's not. His image will be. It'll just be like an, an it's, it, to me, it's the same. It's not going to be a cartoon. Like, to me, it's the same. Might as well be. Might as well be. What did you think when you saw the Will Smith thing? It's him. They just put a filter over him. It's yeah, him talking. But it's not really him. No, it's him. They put a filter over it. Right. It's him talking. It is. So James Dean, what? It's going to be somebody else talking? It'll be, so it'll what be they're, some gonna other. Do, it's going to be somebody else's head. Mm-hmm. They're going to put his head over that and mm-hmm. his voice through it. Yeah. Not really much different than Will Smith. No, but Will Smith is actually Will Smith in it. But what they're talking about now, every single person. Am I crazy? I mean. Is selling their life rights to do this for the future. Yes, but don't tell me. You can't tell me. The Will, Will Smith one, if you say Will Smith was in this movie. And they did CGI on his face, just like making him an ape. If he puts the tennis balls all over him, uh-huh. right? It's still him in the movie. What you're telling me right now is that someone else is going to be in a movie that they're going to make to look like James Dean. So the verbiage of James Dean is going to be in a movie, it's crazy, it's not crazy, and it's not happening. It's him. They're bringing him back to life, James. What I want is this. I want you to, I'm going to give you right now, live on our show, my life rights. You've already done that. I wait. You I did wanna, it on another show. I did, but I want to change it now. Oh. I want you to start me off in graphic gay porn. Right. Um, 
And then now that we can do this CGI, like now that I've found this so out. So you and Aaron Hernandez, you want. Correct. Together in a so jail I, cell porn. Yes. And I, wanna, I want it to be caught. We're going to work on licensing the rights for this. Yeah. So. And I want it to be called. The, the you Aaron know, the Hernandez hologram of Tupac, Tupac wasn't Tupac. The hologram. It's like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is different. So I watched the trailer for The Irishman, right, which is coming out. We can't wait for that. They're using younger De Niro's, younger Pacino's. Again, it's them acting. Yes. And it's the same kind of thing with making him an ape. So they have stuff all over their but face. But they're, they're, they're tweaking their voices to make their voices sound right. younger. And they're obviously using their old faces or their younger faces to put over their old faces. And it's actually not their real younger face. Like they're doing, like I said, an Instagram filter, which is why it looks so weird. Yeah. With Will Smith, it looked fine because he basically looks the exact same. Well, black people they don't They literally age. just needed to yeah. like... Black people don't age. They have better skin some than under us. eye stuff. They have better skin than us. They're better at a lot of things, but um, De Niro, it just like smoothed out his wrinkles. So it's weird, right? Yeah. It's like when an 80 year old gets Botox for the first time. I remember when you and I were creeped out the first time we saw something like this in the movie theater. It was uh, Robert Downey Jr. Oh my God. We lost our shit. It was so good though, but it was him. Technically. Technically, it's him walking around. It's doing the blocking. He's saying the words. It's getting to... James I, Dean is not anywhere in anything. It's a robot. It doesn't matter, man. That's where we're at. It matters to me and Keanu Reeves. Well, let's say Keanu dies. And Matthew dies. McConaughey. Let's say Keanu dies, right? Yeah. You blow up. Jesse Wiseman, the person, blows up, right? And mm -hmm. then we're like, hey, man, we want to put you in this movie mm -hmm. with Keanu Reeves. He's dead. He died 10 years ago. Yep. He's dead. So we're going to paint him on somebody else's body. But you love his acting. It's not him. Doesn't matter. It's not him. It, it, two people who were watching a movie, it's, it's Canal. So it's you and Canal. What about a sex doll that looks exactly like someone? Is it them? That's same. A, that's a great question. Same. Looks do they exactly talk? Are like they talking? them. We could do something, some kind of tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> Which same as James Dean? I guess I could have sex with James Dean, right? That's this is where I'm going. It's not James Dean. It's a sex doll that you put fucking James Dean's face on, and I can see the projector from up there, and I'm like, what? That's where you're going with all of this, though. Pretty soon, you're gonna be able to bone James Dean. I don't want to. Okay, but I'm 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 throwing that out there. That's where we're going with all of this. Or, but it's not. They're gonna take his fucking DNA. Juice up a now we're talking a Chinese stomach and pump out a fucking identical. Now we're talking. James Dean. If you grow a James Dean on the back of a rat from yep. James Dean DNA, yes. Now I'm with you, right? Okay. Now we're talking Barbara Streisand's dogs. Like, yeah, they're the same dog. They have the same DNA, right? So if now we're talking. So if you get that, yeah, you're in DNA mm -hmm. of James Dean. Yep. And then maybe you need to put a little CGI to like tweak to make him look a little bit more like him. Yeah. Now, now that's where I would go. Okay. But the hologram bullshit and hang the on. thing of like deep state and all that, like. Jesse, hang on. What? Say I die this weekend, right? You're a young, you'd be a young widow. Sure. And you had the opportunity to bring back me or Keanu Reeves as your, your lover. Who do I choose? Yes. Going forward, who do you choose? We've had this conversation before. I don't think we have. We have because I read this <laughs> thing. I read this thing about the, this guy that was working on while his wife was still alive, but he she was she had cancer and she was going to die, and so he was working on this AI robot with her so that she could. The wife was like working with this AI robot. Oh yes, yes. So yes. that the husband could have. But this is a robot. So the the thing that we were talking about was a robot. Now this is yeah, a real but person. What came from that? Um, conversation was gosh wouldn't it be crazy to love someone that much yeah we don't know what that's like <laughs> right um, but gosh to have that kind of love that even if you died yeah I would want to like bring back some weird ass crazy fake version of you yeah just to cramp my style when I'm out there do out in the streets like getting yeah getting getting Brendan Fraser will still be alive right um, Willie? When you die this weekend? 
I don't know. Uh, are you guys both know. dying this weekend? Me, look, you can't count out beef rage for anything. I don't know, man, with that guy. He could, he could OD or something. Who knows? I'm going to be a chubby chaser. <laughs> mm. You know I like a pudgy guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Uh, a daddy, a pudgy Widowed. daddy. Widowed. Widowed daddy chubby chaser. Would you be willing, though, to wait the 18 years for a new Keanu to, to be grown? No, I don't. All right. Dude. Because you know what 18-year-old Keanu looks like, too. There's plenty. It's Bill and Ted. It's there's, Bill and Ted Keanu. There's plenty of pudgy older guys out there for me mm -hmm. if you die. <laughs> 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 and I could really realize my potential. True potential as yeah. a chubby chaser. No, you could. It's funny. Dan, Dan sent something to me yesterday. It's classic Dan, by the way, on Drinking Bros. He goes, uh, you know when people die with kids, uh, they typically get married within the first year of uh, their partner's death or whatever. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Why would he Jesus say that? Christ. Like, well, that guys, real? for sure. Yeah. Because they can't fucking take care of Raise themselves. kids, yeah. I would. I would yeah. Girls, I'm not sure, but yeah. I yeah. don't know. I'd be interested to see that well, statistic. I, I brought gender. up a reference of there was somebody from high school who had gotten divorced with a bunch of kids. Divorced or widowed? Divorced. Okay. And they were just, it was just a panic. They were just like, I don't know what I'm going to do with four kids now. And how do I date and marry and all that the stuff? The husband or the wife? The wife. And uh, I was like, well, you're still attractive. So I, I think you'll be able to do it. And they did real quick. And I was like, shit. So, I think I know who this was. No, I don't, no you don't. Um, a friend of yours? Yes, but I, I don't think you've ever met them. I'm no, I never met them. Yeah. I, no, I don't, I don't think this one you know. Uh, there's another one that is, but like, I think that's still going on. Like some nasty, cra crazy fucking divorce. This mm -hmm. one was like pretty, pretty stock standard of like, you know, ran away with whoever the secretary was. Or, oh, okay. And she was looking to you to no. kind of talk talk her through it so here, here's here's why here's why she said it there was a big group of us around and i mean maybe i shouldn't be telling the story but there's a big group of us around and it was just like she just kind of just said it out loud to everyone and you were just like oh fuck i really don't know what you do in that situation but i i, I remember turning around to my friend like after the conversation was mm -hmm. over i was like if it was me i'm not taking on four kids <laughs> no God. i don't care how out you are i'm not taking on four um but uh, <laughs> But yeah, she did fine. Either way, long story short, we answered this question on Drinker Bros yesterday. She did fine. All right. Married a great guy and then within a year, and yeah, it was true. Fucking Dan, though, just so matter of fact, just, you know, yeah. if you die, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what uh, he doesn't know is that they're going to be bigger, like fatter than you. Do you know what I mean? The men? Yeah. Well, what he didn't know in this instance is like, oh, they always marry fatter, right? Yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't know that. Yeah. Classic. Classic. You yeah. Know? You always marry fatter after the, within a year. Really? No. Okay. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. I didn't know if you had some experience with your friends, like, you know? No, dude. None of my friends are fucking married. To fatter people? They're not married in general, remember? Mm, somebody just got divorced and remarried. Divorced and remarried? Yeah. I can't say who it is, Jesse. No, obviously you can't. You only have two friends. Somebody... It's one or the other. Divorced and remarried? Yes. And it's not Dina. Come on, man. From L.A.? Yep. From your hometown. Yeah, 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 yeah. There I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you have two friends, man. Let's, yeah, but yeah. she's the only one that got married in the first place, but remember? What was the, right, but what was, the, what was the new husband? What, fatter, older? No, not fatter. What older, was the, older. Okay. Older. That makes sense. To be honest, the exact same as the first one. Oh, God. Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't know. Mix it up. Yeah. Oof. I guess if you have a type, like, that's it. I guess so. You know. If I drive a RAV4, though, for 10 years, I don't want to get another one. Yeah, you'd go to you Something go Fiesta. Else, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, she didn't get... Kia Soul, just she to didn't mix it up. Get I, even if it's the, the same... The exact same, but it's definitely SUV. in the same vein, you know? Yeah. It's definitely like... There's an easy joke there with same vein. I'm not going to say what that is, but... Um, like a drug thing? No, if it's the same guy, same vein, same dick. Um, now I had to explain the joke. 
you would have to explain that joke because it's not like good. It's the main vein, Jesse. Where are we today? Where are do we have a crime corner today? Oh, we do. Crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> Speaking of Dan. Is he here? No. Should be. Oh, no. he is. All right, good. Dan uh, is? Yes. Yeah, we got a fucking show. Oh, okay. Anyway, so this is from Detective Joshua Perenki? 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 Prinky. Prinky. Pom Pomerinky. Pomerinky. <laughs> like a Pomeranian, only a little one. But a tiny Like Pomerinky. a Pomerinky dink. Yeah. A little Pomerinky. And anyways, I was saying I found uh, a girlfriend for Dan in this story. So Great Falls woman sentenced for sexual interco- intercourse without consent. So this lady, Samantha Ray mm-hmm. Mears, was uh, sentenced to 20 years in custody. Okay. Yeesh. So for forcing a man to have sex with her, what she did, this was her ex-boyfriend. Okay. Went into his house, waited with a machete in his house okay. for him to get home. Yep. He comes home. And she threatens him, makes him take off his clothes. And he was saying that, like, he just didn't want to get hurt. So he did it. Um, So (laughs) um, Mears then removed her pants, crawled on top of him, and they engaged in intercourse, during which she bit him on the arm. Yep. Dan. After that, she sat on the bed, still armed with the machete, right? Yes. Just set in the scene. And the two began arguing. Mears then ripped a piece of trim off the wall and urinated on the bed. Okay, well, now when you say trim off the wall. I don't know. Like, you know, like a f- whatever. Like a. I'm not talking about vagina, right? No. Okay. So, and I actually don't know what it means, but trim off the wall, a freaking hey. something around like a window, like window trim or yeah. something, maybe? Yeah. And peed on the bed. I'm sorry? Yeah, so she peed. Pulled the trim off. I don't know why they had to say she pulled the trim off, but I think that just kind of shows how crazy the scene was. And then she peed and on the bed? He, yeah, and that he was helpless. On, on him or just squat down? Just and on just, the bed. Just, just, just squat down on okay. the bed. Yeah. Marking her territory. I understand that. Yeah. Um, so she was sentenced to 20 years in custody, but like mental custody oh like in like a dp hhs custody which is um oh it's designed for a two-tier uh sex offender which Mm. we learned about yeah second tier second tier yeah we were gonna go Mm. as that for halloween halloween yeah back down to the last second um so she's gonna be like put on medication and basically be like in a psych ward for 20 years because that's some crazy shit although Dan would like it. Yes. Yes, that'd be right up to Dude, He would love if an ex like waited with a machete. Yeah. With a machete? Yep. I don't know about the peeing. I mean, I'll have to ask him, but I think somebody drove 19 hours to his house. Ask him about that one. I'm good, it was but outside like, the window. So, on the 14th floor? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. She could have been a window washer. <laughs> could have been a window washer. Not so scary. Big fan of that crime corner. Thanks, uh, hey. Barinky. Pom- Pomerinky. 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 Detective Pomerinky. Pama. Pama Granites. Pama. Thanks. Pama, 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 Pama Chameleon. There you go. Uh, there's going to be some cops at uh, our live show on Saturday. So you can ask the most fucked up questions you want. The, the guy that I chatted with last night, uh, Eric, has got some crazy stories. So you're going to have a good time on Saturday Ooh. at the live show. Um, yeah. We will be in Raleigh for the live show. On Saturday, join us. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. Let's going out to uh, last night. There was special elections for uh, 2019. Sometimes these things happen uh, in off years like this mm-hmm. um, for these special elections, and it happened. People were making a big deal that last night they were like uh, this a Republican. Oh, was it um, in Kentucky? Trump endorsed? Yeah. Trump endorsed, but I, th- people didn't like him. The guy was unlikable. It was he like was Roy Moore, as, yes. and nobody fucking cares, and nobody cares about the Moore. governor. Um, but what's fascinating about this story is everybody else that was that won was Republican across the board, except for that guy, uh, including uh, Daniel Cameron, who uh, made history as the uh, first black attorney general in all of Kentucky and happens to be Republican. And that is a big deal. Yeah. So 
to, to everybody else is like, eh, blue wave or whatever the fuck you're saying. No one cares, man. Uh, no one absolutely cares. It is clear. If people were that racist or that um, fucking, yeah, dude. Do you know who won anything here? Kentucky, man. Um, oh, who won the mayor, mayor here? Uh, Sappho was up for election. Yeah, um, against Bill Sappho. Devin. Here. I am fascinated in this because I'm obviously running with Dan next year. <laughs> for mayor? No, for oh, uh, okay. the, the, the school board. Okay. Um, he won. Ma uh, Sappho would, Bill Sappho did win. Okay. Um, said he hangs on. Oh, was it close? 600 and something votes. No shit. Oh, Sappho, yeah, that Devin guy, he... Uh, he had a lot of promotion. He was everywhere. Um, Dan and I will be everywhere for the uh, he had every, new Hanover County School Board, so good luck with that. He had every elder millennial vote. Probably. That lived downtown. <laughs> Probably. It's certainly, yeah, 630 votes. You're right, Jamie. Our producer said 630 votes. That is close, man. Um, Homeboy, though, had a lot of fucking ads. He was everywhere. Dude, he had digital uh, billboards. He had the billboards, billboards that moved. And then he did a, an AMA on Reddit, which uh, was great. I, that I read was it, actually. huge, but I think we still have a lot of older people. Uh, in this town? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, look, Sappho's got a name, though, too. It's, it's name recognition. No, I, nobody knew this guy. He's cool. We've partied with him. <laughs> We have. We've had yeah. beers with them. Well, we're going to have beers with a lot more people once I'm uh, on the board of, of all of this shit. Is kind that of how forced it works? to. You go to. Yeah, you go to highfalutin dinners. The beauty of it is, and we were saying this on Drinker Bros yesterday. Um, highfalutin, where at? At Something's Fishy? Exactly. At uh, <laughs> uh, Shake Shack or whatever. <laughs> and we don't have a Shake at Shack. fucking yet. Smithfield? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah. highfalutin, you dumbass? <laughs> Which country club? Yeah, exactly. Um, but I'll be the beauty of what me and Dan were saying yesterday is we'll be able to tell you all of this stuff because we don't need the money, nor do we have any, you know, vested interest or super packs to impress. Like we have nothing other than looking out for the children. So it's like, yeah, I'll tell you exactly what goes down in this shit. I'll name names. I don't give a fuck. It'll be awesome. And then we get to find out behind the scenes. Because then daddy might want to try on his little mare overalls one day. Clint Eastwood did it. So fuck it. One day, yeah. Jesse, you could be married to a mare. I can be first lady? Yeah. That's what you call it, right? No, not exactly. Um, That's what I would call it. Every day to so, everyone I met. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can. Um. <laughs> Or no, sorry, I put it out like this. Yes. First lady. Yeah. First lady. Mm -hmm. I'm the mayor. At the, my highfalutin. I'm the mayor's dinner. wife. I am the mayor's wife. At fish bites. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that <laughs> would be. I'm sorry. That is honey mustard, not regular mustard. I am the mayor's wife. Um, yes. Could you now get out of my presence? I've got some some things to do with the mayor. He is coming out of the bathroom right now, so I've got some things to do with him. We got some very important decisions to make with the mayor right now yeah uh, drinks for the mayor please he's been in the in the bathroom for a really long really time. long time uh, <laughs> can i get a whiskey sour for the mayor please that is the mayor of wilmington i am the first lady i would demand a whiskey sour please james fun show word up <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that you uh, aren't gonna grow a young keanu reeves to replace me and bang him in, into your death Nope, only real chubbies for yeah, me. Yeah, real chubsters. No robot Keanu Reeves, don't God, you worry. Damn it, man. You're going to get a lot of fucking resumes after this from our, our <laughs> listeners. No. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Jabes? I'm a deuce and a half, five, three. <laughs> Let's rage after Ross dies. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, Fuck it. Actually, nobody messes. I only get crime corners. Yeah. Which I'm fine with. Yeah. But I would like a message every now and then. Uh, from a chubster? Hey, James, just ate a double QP with cheese. I'd like what do you think? to start a roster. Okay. I'd, I'd like to, to start a Rolodex for of, when of, that when I die, day yeah. comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> we had that guy on the cruise, remember? 19 times he told me that. That what? If Ross ever dies. Drunk as shit. If Ross ever dies, I just want you to know. Yeah, he was like, was like with hey, his girlfriend, yeah. though, too. And I'm Ross. And he, like, he was saying it to me. I was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm Ross. Oh, he couldn't really see that. I was just like, he man, really you were that saying well. that to yeah. me in yeah, front yeah, of, yeah. like, to me in the third person in front of my wife. Right. I know, man. And I. Phew. They just like to fuck with you. They I don't. Know. They don't want to take on all this bullshit. Believe me. <laughs>
<laughs> they want to unpack all this. No, 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 no. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Oh, good night, uh, First Lady. Oh, good night, Mayor.